Hey guys, doing a um, one to two month review or evaluation video of this Risa Enzo Trapper 95 in M690 stainless steel. So as I said, I've had this knife for about one to two months, using it on and off. Originally, it came with a Scandi grind, but the, the grind was too broad. So I didn't exactly like it, or it was kind of low. So what I did was I just ended up kind of convexing it a little, <clears throat> both sides. Um, it did come with, I think it was a, a true, a true scanty grind, so there was no micro bevel or anything, which I like. I don't really like micro bells myself. But what I want to do is a uh, asymmetrical grind. <clears throat> so the left side, um, I'm going to try and flatten it out a little bit more. Then on the right side, I'm going to keep it convex. So in a sense, flat or scandy, and then a convex. This is just to experiment, um, what's his name? Waco from Virtual Vice. I think that's his channel's name. I can't remember off the top of my head. It was something like that. But Japanese guy <clears throat> uses it for both um, hunting and uh, bushcrafting. Supposedly it's good for feather sticking with that asymmetrical grind. Keep this from sliding down. Alright, there we go. It comes with a leather sheath. <clears throat> It's a pretty nice sheath in my opinion, but there's no drainage hole at the bottom, so you're probably going to get water stuck in here unless you somehow widen that opening. There's no light letting through or anything, so uh, anyway. <clears throat> it's got double rivet for the belt loop, the main belt loop, then it's got a dangler, which I don't use. So what I end up doing is, I let it fall down like that, <clears throat> and run my belt through this loop, and the dangler just kind of sits right there. It doesn't get in the way. Actually, I kind of like it because it pushes the, uh, the bottom of the sheath off my, off my hip. Oh, not my hip, my, uh, my, my thigh. I did treat this with um, a little bit of snow seal. So it's at least a little bit water resistant, but I should probably add a little bit more, maybe. I don't know, it's kind of fine the way it is right now. Anyway, this knife has a full tang. I think maybe three millimeters. Green micarta handles, scales. N690 steel. I don't remember the length, maybe four inches, I think. It's a very nice grip. It's flat enough, so it doesn't hurt to press your thumb against this. Well, wearing gloves, but you know, when I'm not wearing gloves, it's still pretty nice. Back is spine is flat over here, so you can push up against things. I don't think the uh, jimping is really necessary for this knife. And it's got a lanyard hole. I'll probably add like a, a tritium illuminated bead. Probably a few of them. Just for decoration. And probably be able to see the knife a bit more easier at night in case I happen to drop it. Yeah. Overall, I think this is a pretty good knife for the time being. Oh, this is how it would look like without the. when it's in the sheath. So. Kind of hard to do this one-handed. 